Yes, hello everyone and welcome back to my Kubits of Career Mode here today around the Brit around uh, Silverstone even. Um the British Grand Prix, that's what I was meant to say. Um hopefully we can have a uh, a good result here again today. Uh hopefully we put ourselves in the title fight maybe. Uh obviously this is halfway through the season, but uh, without further ado, let's get to the British Grand Prix and let's see if we can carry on our great form. Let's fire up the engine. So here we are then on the grid for the British Grand Prix, starting in 6th place with our teammate right behind us and Alonso ahead of us, and the Brit on pole as we go to 5 red lights. So let's turn on where we go here for the British Grand Prix, we've got off to an okay start I guess, uh, Alonso cuts us off there on the inside so we can't go down the inside of him, we try and go around the outside to the first corner at Cops, obviously this is the old layout, uh, well, well it's the same layout as now but they don't have the, uh, you know, the, the Silverstone wing, obviously which is right when we see there on the right hand side. It's Funny enough, as we now go around the outside of Lewis Hamilton in the newest turn one. Obviously, it's not turn one in here, and uh, and that was a quick start to the Grand Prix. I didn't even realise I'd gone through it that quick. Uh, as we come in for our first pit stop of the Grand Prix, then um, managing to get into second, but obviously people have made pit stops before me, um, as we are now coming into the pit stops, and our teammate is as well. Unfortunately, I think is he. Um, is he coming at? Yes, he is. That's really unfortunate for the team there. I mean, I really thought the AI would have been clever enough to like carry on another lap if I say I'm going to be in this lap, but um, looks like it wasn't. And that means uh, Petrov is going to lose a whole heap of positions there as we come out in seventh place. So we're still in the points. And now moving on to lap six of the Grand Prix. Uh, just going to update you on the uh, the, re the results so far as we have uh, Lucas de Grassi, I think. Yeah, de Grassi coming into the pits. As we move up to fourth place, then, and we are about two or two seconds behind uh, Weber, I think. And now moving on to lap seven of the Grand Prix, the next lap for some reason it wants me to come in again. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, the race leader pit again, Jensen Button pit again. So that moved me up to third third place in the Grand Prix. And unfortunately, that was it for this British Grand Prix. I'm really sorry, not much happened. I'm really sorry this is a really short video, but Sebastian Vettel wins the Grand Prix. And I'm going to come home in third place. I really hope this puts us in the title fight. That's a great third place. Congratulations. 15 points. So as Jeff, uh, Jeff said there, uh, 15 points in the bag as it's another Red Bull 1-2 with Sebastian Vettel winning by 3.1 seconds from Mark Webber. Um, I come home in third. Obviously, uh, Hamilton was behind me, not far, not far behind me actually. Uh, Rosberg and Schumacher both um, in fifth and sixth. Alonso, I mean, back to his regular form in this career mode, uh, probably uh, in seventh. Pedro de la Rosa getting eighth, which is a huge result for Sauber. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. And Button, the race leader, finished uh, ninth. And Timo Glock, everyone, Timo Glock has scored a point for Virgin. We all just have a round of applause for Timo Glock, please, in the comments. Um, I mean, that's just an amazing result for him. And uh, he actually beat Massa, which was, I mean, quite mental, if I do say so. Um, and then the usual suspects down at the back of the grid with, uh, I mean, the HRT is doing quite well there. Fair play to them. Uh, moving on to the driver standings then, we are now 50 points behind Sebastian Vettel. So I think we might be in, a, in with a chance if we keep this up we're winning this uh, driver's title um, but uh, Mark Webber and Hamilton are in good form and Button unfortunately they're losing grip on the top four of the driver standings and Alonso down there and again I, mean, I don't even know why Ferrari are bothering this year uh, because it's just I mean there's no point in them actually doing anything this year because they're not really performing as they would expect to be performing uh, which is very strange. I really don't know why. I mean, they're meant to be one of the best teams in this game, but they're just not performing very well. Moving on to the, dry, the uh, constructors then, 
Uh, Renault are consolidating fourth, and Red Bull have uh, increased their lead over McLaren. But if you did enjoy this episode, sorry it was short, but you know that's racing at the end of the day. Um, if you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like and comment, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.